So uh, this is the world's like least professional quick look at the paint chest from Frontier Wargaming. Um, there are lots of reviews of the paint case, which is its smaller brother. It's kind of this size and then the lid folds down like that and creates a surface to work on. But not too many for this larger thing. Um, sales over Christmas meant that we picked up a whole set of um, the uh, Warhammer paints, although we're with D&D mostly ourselves. And uh, it, it takes up a lot of space. We've got it in like a plastic tool chest. It's adequate, but it's kind of gross. And um, this thing, as you can see, is, is really just kind of epic. Um, if you look at any of the paint chest reviews, you'll get the idea. It's the same stuff. This is more or less as it arrived, so everything's set up. We've put the dividers into this box, and I don't know if you've noticed on these, they have some nice touches, like that inlay there, so the lid actually locks into place. And then you make sure that these, which also match up, all well, that dovetails cleanly when you slide these in. You have them that way round, so that this here can drop into the gaps, and then it's not going to go anywhere. Um, other little bits and pieces I noticed were just some of these things for shipping, a little bit of plastic just in there to help things slide around and not rattle too much. They give you things like the bag straps, carry cases. Uh, we also got the um, wet palette with this, uh, which looks real good, although there's like a hinge on the plastic that clips, which actually was broken because it's a very thin bit of plastic, so watch out for that. Uh, I'm sure they'll have no problem swapping that for us. I'm just going to wait and see when we fill all the paints in if we have actually want maybe a couple more of these things and if so I'll do all of that at the same time. The colour of this to the eye is a little darker and richer than it appears on the phone which is doing kind of a crap job of um, exposure. Um, that's your metal clasp so this is very solid when it's on and if you look underneath little rubber feet. Now these feet on the front parts that swing out, when you have it on a surface where the feet are grippy, obviously it means that actually these things tend to actually grip and stick a little bit, but that's okay. Um, you can just rock the thing slightly back. Um, the hinges are good and big. Uh, they don't look like they're going to go anywhere. Um, I mean, obviously it's really just laser cut wood that's been pre-assembled, stained, glued together and everything. I think it's worth it for the amount of effort that would go into doing this yourself if you were going to try and custom build it with the handle placements, all of the metal work and the little details here and there. The custom engraving we got, found an SVG of this and sent it to them. Um, aesthetically, it's interesting. They've centered the ampersand. Now, for me, I might have centered the whole logo. Uh, in actual fact, this was a gift for my partner who really likes it this way around. Um, so their aesthetic choice has worked perfectly. Um, it also means they're paying attention. They're not just throwing this into a computer and saying center it and center it and job done. Uh, but it does mean though, if you have an unusual logo or something like that, um, when you're ordering and you're filling in the uh, etching details, um, if you want to be absolutely sure it's exactly how you want, make sure you specify everything, including alignment. This has turned out to be very happy um, for the person that wants it. And I am impressed at that attention to detail. Just in terms of how these things look on the side of the case, we've got the various locating slots for the shells and things inside. And then all these, we're looking at eight screws per hinge. So that's 16 per side. Uh, it just came in this quite thin cardboard box. Um, the unit fits perfectly inside it, the chest, and was wrapped in that kind of uh, very tough cling wrap kind of stuff, shrink wrap. So um, quite a lot of plastic, but uh, definitely kept it free of scratches. Now, this was uh, held together by a lot of sellotape, so it was a secure parcel. But obviously, if something had smacked into the edges pretty hard, it might have damaged the case. It managed to get all the way from... Um, I think it's Latvia to, despite my accent, New Zealand. So pretty much halfway around the world with absolutely not a scratch on it, no damage at all. There's some, there's some uh, evidence of the corners here being a bit bashed um, and yet the case inside is fine. So this protection would seem to be entirely adequate and the case itself is pretty robust. Uh, so from a shipping perspective, I'd say real good. Arrived quickly as well. Now this video is about the case and uh... The professionalism is shown by the state of my gaming table, which desperately needs vacuuming. Felt really picks up that dust, but um, it's bits of paper from the edges of maps and books and things. Uh, but this is that um, that uh, wet pad, which um, there's a little plastic pin you see here on the hinge, and on this side it's just snapped off on the inside part there. So um, we'll get that swapped out. I have no doubt there'll be no problems with that. Um, this, obviously, it's just a wet palette. It's, um, it is what it is. Uh, fits in the drawers perfectly, which is why we got it, because it's just uh, another nice little bit of fit and finish. So um, I'm sure it'll be doing the job, no problem. Just got to watch out for that.
I thought I'd just mention some of the pieces that are in. We've got this, which had the wet pallet in it for shipping, which was a decent way to do it. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and uh, open shelves. Um, these, of course, can move around and they're the high compartments. You'll notice no shelves in here. So this is free for anything you want or to buy add on shelves from them. Uh, here, here, here are these are just those uh, same drawers from earlier with the cross piece that you can fit if you like. And then this is real nice. There's um, two of these uh, for miniature painting with these uh, nice little um, stands to uh, use a, you know, blue tack or putty or whatever you want to call it in your geography um, to stick your minis on for painting. Uh, so it's just real cool things like that. Um, super useful. Uh, and yeah, I kind of can't wait to see this whole thing set up and ready to go. It's really, it's really awesome. And I'm super happy with it. It's just so nice to have something that's just wood and well made and looks good. It's exactly the right headspace for when you want to do something like D&D gaming or painting miniatures or any of that creative stuff. Sounds silly, but things like this to me matter. The aesthetics matter. Um, and this definitely hits the mark. This is the before shot. So this is the after shot with everything racked in there. I mean, it'll evolve as we figure it out better, but like brushes are in there, wet palettes down here. Um, it's just got odds and ends in that, like spare bottles and mixers and stuff. Um, so yep, there it is, pretty cool.